I'm excited, but not for the reason you think. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And my channel is PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And remember, if you haven't already, I'm giving away a $100 gift card towards any gaming gear you want in celebration of these new RTX GPUs coming out. It's gonna go until the 20th of September when the benchmarks release, so that way you can choose what you wanna put that money towards. It says Amazon or Newegg on the thumbnail, by the way, but it's really just a $100 gift card for whatever. So if you wanna enter that giveaway link is down below, make sure you do. And 12,500 subs is the next actual giveaway goal for the channel. Channel, so help me hit that by 2019. We have gained 11,000 subs in one year. It's been exciting and uh, thank you to everybody. So anyway, let's talk about today's topic. This new RTX GPU, I'm actually excited for it, but not in the reasons you think. So here's the thing. Ray tracing is an amazing technology. And if I, even for me who I don't have, you know, I don't understand every little mathematical thing about it. I understand what it is and, and it's tremendous. It really is a really cool technology. It's just too early. Like. For now, I don't see any legitimate reason to get it, even if they can get it to 60 FPS with, you know, let's even, I'll give them even like RTX 2080, 60 FPS with ray tracing on, still not worth it to me. That being said, there are some other interesting things that the new um, GPUs are bringing to the table that got me a little excited. But before I talk about that, I fully want to disclose, I do not advocate to pre-order these as many other tech tubers have said. And to me, there doesn't necessarily mean, what well, even what I'm about to go over, it doesn't mean there's enough value to buy them. We'll have to wait and see if there's been you know what the benchmarks say um i think it's actually a great time to buy the series 10 you can get a gtx uh you know, 1080 Ti right now for like $500 used on eBay or even around $600 new um, from uh, different uh, sellers. So I would more say do that for if you're not even caring about these new GPUs. But let's talk about the features I am excited for. So the first thing I'm excited for is potentially without ray tracing um, above 60 FPS for 4K gaming. This has been something that I've personally been wanting for a very long time. I have a 4K monitor. It's, uh, I'm looking at the camera, it's that one. It's this one right here. And basically, 4K gaming um, has been nearly impossible to do, even with a single 1080 Ti. So if we get a GPU solution that allows to do that, I'll be a happy man. Now, that being said, um, that's something with these new GPUs that if they're able to pull it off with the RTX 2080, that might make it, to me, worth the value of spending a little bit of extra money above a 1080 Ti. The other technology that they have is the DLSS, which unfortunately has the same problem with ray tracing, where it's not going to be available in all titles, but that, to me, is much more valuable than current ray tracing. And the reason I say that is that DLSS, for you guys who don't know, uses Tensor Core technology, or AI, basically, to use what's called inferencing. I talked about this a little bit in my other video, but basically the AI intelligently picks out pixels and says, okay, well, I believe this image should go here. It preempts it. It's a different way of doing anti-aliasing. And I would argue anti-aliasing is just as important as lighting and shadows, if not more, to graphical fidelity. So it takes a burden off of your GPU when rendering out images, allowing you to have higher performance than traditional uh, anti-aliasing method. That to me seems a lot more valuable. The other thing um, with these GPUs is that, yes, I know there's the benchmarks that show it, hey, it was beating out the 1080 Ti. That was a super overclocked GPU. If you overclock a 1080 Ti, I bet you it beats it. We'll have to wait and see the benchmarks. But if this new GPU is better optimized for 4K gaming and we are able to have more support for DLSS, to me, that is a much better reason to buy one, if you do, than the whole ray tracing thing, which is amazing, but it's too early. I doubt they're gonna be able to get the performance that we would require. Like, I'd rather have more FPS at a slightly lower resolution than half the FPS at a lower resolution because it's not even at 4K for the benchmarks we've been seeing. So anyway, guys, I'm excited for these new GPUs for, uh, you know, new technology pushing the envelope. There's a lot of reasons that, um, you know, I'm looking forward to at least seeing them but I'm not advocating for anyone to pre-order and I'm certainly not advocating for you to buy one of these over even the current generation. Like I said, a 1080 Ti right now is pretty dang cheap. And to me, that seems like a much better value. We'll have to wait and see, but anyway, guys, that's kind of where I am. That's where I'm sitting with these. I am excited for these GPUs, just not for the reasons I think everybody else is. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If not, Hey, free country where I live, leave me a thumbs down. But remember to get subscribed, hit that bell icon so you can get uh, notifications when new videos drop. Um, remember that if you are a Twitch sub or a patron that you get your name put at the end of my videos as a way to say thanks. And thanks to everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link. If you wanna support me when you're buying PC gear, you can do so um, by using those links. And obviously I've been talking too long because my screen's just turned off and went into power saving mode. So anyway guys, I'm gonna make these videos whether you watch them or not, but I hope you do and I hope to see you next time here on Gear Dink.